Last quarter, I just closed $47,000 in consulting deals through LinkedIn. And I'm gonna show you exact AI automation stack that I use to find prospects, personalize outreach at scale, and manage my conversations without spending 10 hours a week in my inbox. So if you're interested to see how I achieve this result, then make sure to watch to the end of this video, which I'll show you step by step. But here's the problem with LinkedIn outreach that most of you guys are doing it wrong. Because if you're trying to do it manually, it can't scale. But if you automate it poorly, then it might sound like a spam and it kind of destroys your brand. So I run a B2B company that building custom AI solutions. And my LinkedIn strategy here needs to do three things simultaneously. One is to find the right people. Second is to personalize at scale. And third is to save time for high value conversations like strategy calls, not just for inbox management. So that's why today I'm gonna to show you how to use Bulldog's AI features to automate this entire process. And we'll cover one, how to use AI targeting feature to basically filter a thousand profiles down to around maybe like 50 perfect prospects that have a higher chance to convert. And second, I'm gonna show you the AI personalization feature, which can help us to automatically write messages that don't sound automated. And third, I'm gonna show you how to use the AI conversation management, which can help you to handle replies in under 30 seconds each. Now, this isn't a theory video. This is my actual workflow that generates me 50 qualified leads every single month. So with that being said, if you're interested, let's get into it. All right, so to get started, first thing first, we're gonna to navigate to baldog.co and here is their landing page. What we're gonna do here is I'm gonna click on sign in for this product. Then here you can see this is our dashboard. I'm just gonna click on create a campaign right here. And here I'm just gonna click on LinkedIn search. Now, the biggest mistake that I see from people is basically contacting everyone. Now, here's the thing. Volume doesn't matter if you're trying to target with the wrong people. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to search for CTO who are currently at a startup and who is currently hiring because I know that they have a budget if they're currently hiring. So I'm just going to target for these peoples and I'm just going to copy this link for the search query and simply I'm just going to paste the page URL into the LinkedIn search. Once we import the contacts, now it's time for us to choose a template. In this case, I'm going to choose send invitation plus two additional message. Here, I'm just going to click on this and here in terms of the template, I'm just going to switch over to the advanced view. Now, this is where the AI here is gonna get really smart because what we can do here is that we can actually have AI here to review each profile. Instead of having this LinkedIn bot here to contact everyone from those 1,000 people, we can actually add a feature to have AI here to filter out those people. I'm just gonna click on this plus sign right here and then click on the AI review to review the contact with AI. And here what's gonna happen is we're gonna have AI here to match with the criteria that we set. So here I'm just gonna choose this one right here. All right, so once we select this, here you can see that it's gonna first visit the profile for the applications. Then if it's not connected, we're just gonna have AI review here to review based on the criteria that we set. For example, we can say like only proceed if the certain instructions that we specify here, like the person has LinkedIn premium account or has more than a certain amount of followers or is based in a certain locations, we can actually set our criteria before it proceed to the next step. For example, I'm just gonna say only proceed if this person is hiring and you can see that it's currently validated already. And then we're just gonna add another criteria here say that if this person is currently a CTO or a founder at a startup, and here you can see that it's currently validating the criteria that we set. And then what's cool is that you can also be able to preview the data. So if I were to click on this preview here, you can see that it basically runs these conditions with like five contacts that we have from our campaign. And you can see that one of them passed and the rest of them didn't pass. It also shows you the reason, which you can see all the contact data on the current LinkedIn profile for this person, which clearly you can see this person is a founder, right? As a CEO or CTO uh, for a business. And we can pretty much be able to filter out using this feature to filter out thousand prospects we have narrowed down into a targeted amount of people. And pretty much that's how we can be able to use AI targeting here to filter out thousand profiles that we have narrowed down to the perfect prospect we're gonna contact with. And the next step here we're gonna do is to use the AI personalization feature to write a non-automated message. And to do so, simply I'm just going to click on send invitations and this part is really what kills a lot of those LinkedIn outreach. For example, if you're gonna use a static message like this, chances are you're probably not gonna get a reply. That's why we're gonna use the AI variable feature, which can help us to create a personalized message that we're gonna to send to each of those candidates. So for example, this is a much more personalized message that I'm gonna send for the LinkedIn invitation. For example, the variable that I'm gonna create is hiring role, like which role they're hiring, and also which stage they're in for their current company based on their LinkedIn profile. 
So what we're gonna do here is I'm just going to click on the variable right here, which is create AI variable, which will help us to create a much more personalized message using those custom variables that we're gonna create. So I'm just gonna click on this. And first thing first, I'm just gonna create a hiring role variable. And here I'm just gonna paste this in. And in terms of prompts, we're just gonna use this one right here. So look at the LinkedIn activity, the current company, and also the summary. If they mention hiring, or you can also refer which role they're recruiting for, exactly the title like the senior backend engineer or such. If unclear, just return the engineering talent. Keep it under five words. And I'm just going to import the uh, LinkedIn data. And in terms of data here, I'm just gonna include the summary and also the experience from each profile so that I can be able to identify. And here, if I were to take a look to see each of those people that we have, you can see that we have engineer talents, the executive search talents, customer service talents, and such, right? So in this case, I'm just gonna create this variable right now, which basically means that it can help us to identify what are the position that this person is currently hiring for. So in this case, I'm just gonna replace this to the new variable that I create, which is this AI variable right here. So I saw you are hiring for this role right here at this company. And I help company stage. In this case, I'm also gonna create this new variable right here for the company stage. So I'm just gonna click on create variable. And here I'm just gonna paste the company stage as the variable name. And as the prompt here, I'm just gonna use that based on the LinkedIn work experience and also the company descriptions, determine if the company is a early stage startup, scaling startup, or established company. Look for clues like company age or team size, or also the recent funds, just to return the stage phase. And here I also included the LinkedIn work experience and also the LinkedIn summary. And basically you can see that these are some values that we see like scaling startups, early stage startups or established company that we have from these people, which is really cool, right? So you can be able to create variables that can be able to filter based on the information that we provide. And we can use those variables here inside of our message. So I'm just gonna create this and here we have our company stage. So I'm just gonna replace this with the new variable that we created, which is the AI company stage right here. So I help this company stage CTOs scaling their engineering team with AI automations and cut onboarding time 40% at similar companies. Worth a quick chat about your hiring roadmap. I'm just gonna create this message right here, which it sounds much more enticing because you know exactly what roles they're hiring for and also which stage they're in for their current company. And now I can be able to click on save and we can pretty much be able to send a much more personalized message to each and every single prospects that we have. All right, so once we have our invitations, we can then be able to proceed with the next part of the workflow, like is the invitation accepted within 14 days? We can actually be able to set a timer to wait for two hours and then send a message. All right, so then in terms of the LinkedIn message, we're gonna send after the user is connected. So here you can see that after two hours, uh, we're just gonna have a note called send message, which here's the message we're gonna send. And basically we can say, thanks for connecting. I'm building AI solution tools for this type of company stage. And I saw you're scaling your company. No pitch, just wanted to connect with all their CTOs and founders in the space. Here's my channel and here's the link where they can be able to book a call with me, always learning. And what I can do here is that I can also apply the AI variables that we created earlier onto this message as well. So I'm just gonna remove this and change that at the company stage right here. Basically it can help us to identify what's the current company stage they're currently in. All right, so we can be able to send a message and pretty much that's how we can be able to start our campaign. So in this case, I'm just gonna click on start campaign right here. And I'm just gonna rename this campaign to be personalized CTO and founders. And we can actually be able to schedule this to be later dates if we want. And after everything looks good, we can just click on start campaign right here. And now you can see that we have our campaign is currently running, which is pretty cool. All right, so now you can see that we have our campaign currently active, which is pretty cool. And what we can do here is that we can actually be able to click on the edit sequence here to review and be able to edit anything that we don't like. For example, the AI review here or sending the invitation here. For example, sending an invitation here, we can also click on the show the preview to see exactly what is the message we're gonna send. For example, sell your hiring for engineering talents at this community. And here I help the established, right? Established companies, CTOs scale their engineering team with AI automations, cut onboarding time 40% at similar companies. Worth a quick chat about your hiring roadmap. So this is pretty much what we're gonna send. And also after connected, wait for two hours, we're gonna send a follow-up message to also get them connected. So this is gonna be the message. We can also be able to edit it. We can also be able to click on show preview to see exactly what is the message we're gonna send for this person. For example, for this person right here, this is the message we have for the established team, 
for this company. And this is the remaining message we're gonna to send to this person. Pretty much that's what we're gonna to use to um, use AI here to define those variables for us to create a much more personalized message. Now, jumping back to the dashboard for Bulldog, here you can see that we have one connection connected through the campaign that we just launched. And here you can see that we have been sending 10 connections per day. And if we were to look at the LinkedIn connection invites, you can see that we have some new message sent. So this is the exact template that we just mentioned, which we can actually verify that this is actually currently working. All right, so pretty much that's all we have here for personalizations. And the last part here is we can also use the AI conversation management, which can help us to handle replies in under 30 seconds. All right, so here I'm just gonna navigate back to the homepage and I do have a campaign started, which is great. And then here you can see that these are the on-read message that we have for my LinkedIn. And here I can simply just click on this on-read message right here. And what I can do here is that for each of those messages that we have, I can be able to manage my inbox really quickly. For example, if I were to click on that chat window, you can see that this is basically the chat conversation that I have with this person. And what I can do here is that I can be able to use the snippet here to quickly reply to a message. For example, I can click on the snippet right here. So what I can do here is I can also create a new snippet for this message. Here, I'm just gonna click on create and manage snippets. Now, in terms of the snippet here, we have two options. One is we can create a snippet, like a static message that we can quickly send to each person that we have to quickly get the replies out. Or we can create an AI snippet, which will basically read through the above message and craft a certain message based on our prompt. And in terms of the name of the AI snippet, I'm just gonna say media invitation. And for the shortcut, we can actually be able to use a slash shortcut right here. For example, I'm just gonna say invite URL. All right, so then here, I'm just gonna put this prompt right here, which basically read through the combinations, show interest in my AI automation consulting. And your job is to write a media invitations that feels uh, personal, not templated, and also reference what they care about, and also the promise values, as well as the website mention. And here are some tones guide as well. So I'm just gonna create a AI snippet here. And basically this is the prompt that we have. So once we have this, we can be able to go back. For example, this person right here, I'm just gonna use the snippet that we created. And here you can see that we have our message generated using the snippet AI that we created. All right, so here you can see that this is what it says. So it says, sounds great, Colin. Uh, since you mentioned the potential opening, I'm happy to discuss how my experience with AI automations could add value to your team. And I will come prepare with the examples that I have optimized for development workflows at the previous companies, worth a quick breakdown of what I can do to bring to the table. So basically you can see that it's reading through the conversation it has and it generate a message that we can send. And simply we can be able to use that feature to, re to basically reply to all the message that we have very quickly, very fast. Okay, so pretty much that's how we can be able to use the AI conversation manager feature, which can help us to handle replies in under 30 seconds. So just to recap quickly, with these three features that we demonstrate in this video, like AI targeting to help us to filter out the right prospects, and also AI personalizations, which can help us to write a non-automated messages, and also the AI conversation management, which can help us to handle all the replies in under 30 seconds. So with that being said, if you found value in this video, please make sure to like this video, consider subscribing for more content like this. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.